Hebrews chapter 5 verses 1 to 6 The high priest called by God to offer sacrifices for self and others. So Christ was called. You are my son, a priest forever. Every high priest is taken from among men and made their representative before God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal patiently with the ignorant and erring, for he himself is beset by weakness. And so, for this reason, must make sin offerings for himself as well as for the people. No one takes this honor upon himself, but only when called by God, just as Aaron was. In the same way, it was not Christ who glorified himself in becoming high priest, but rather the one who said to him, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Just as he says in another place, You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. This is an excellent example of a high priest job description. Because high priests are human, they can sympathize with our own human weaknesses. Because in their humanity, they share them. In Jesus' time, the Jewish congregants would already know of and may have been personally acquainted with a high priest. Being a high priest in the temple was a powerful position. The high priest was the supreme religious leader of the Israelites. The office of high priest was hereditary and was traced from Aaron, the brother of Moses, of the Levite tribe. The high priest had to offer a sin offering not only for the sins of the whole congregation, but also for himself. Jesus not only met, but surpassed the job description in many ways. Jesus had compassion for the people because he himself experienced their problems and because he was both human and divine. We all have struggles, stumbling blocks, failures, and problems. There is only one great physician that can heal these problems, Jesus Christ. When you are sick, don't you go to the doctor seeking a cure for your illness? Sure you do. The doctor gives you a prescription to cure you of your illness. God gives you a prescription in the form of advice found by reading the Bible and following the Ten Commandments. God did not create us to abandon us on our journey to our eternal home. No, He gave us a biblical map to follow. Psalm 119 verse 104. Through your precepts I gain insight. Therefore, I hate all false ways. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light for my path. I make a solemn vow to keep your just edicts. I am very much afflicted, but give me life in accord with your word. What are precepts? In moral theology, a precept is a matter of obligation, a law, a must-do. In this case, it is a reference to the Ten Commandments. What are edicts? An edict has the force of law. Again, another reference to the Ten Commandments. Who is Melchizedek? Melchizedek is translated as the king of righteousness. He was the king and priest of Salem, later to be known as Jerusalem. He blessed Abraham, and David assumed Melchizedek's role as king and priest of Jerusalem for himself and his descendants. Jesus Christ, being in the line of the house of David, succeeded to this role and became a perfect, not human, high priest in the order of Melchizedek.